So did you hear? Did you hear? Did you hear? That it's been rumored. This is in fact. Fact. It's been rumored. What? Say what you're going to say. I'm Your waiting face for you to get it out. Still cut oats. Uh-huh. You hear me? Uh-huh. Well, I'm waiting <laughs> on you to get it out. Like, did you but, hear? Listen, so it was what? rumored that Ooh. the biker gang, the most notorious biker gang in the um, in the world, the Hells Angels, apparently have come together, which they are organized, they're very organized, to and ride to Aurora, Colorado, to go deal with the migrant situation situation at that apartment complex. Allegedly, and, and allegedly. Wow. Um, let's look at this clip right here. I was, you I'm know, trying to this, figure out why the, this, the government ain't done nothing. The National Guard, exactly. Why that, are they not exactly? So, th- this is a, that's that's this you know, a, that's a crisis. No, th- I mean this is this a is state a, of this, emergency. This is, yeah, just a state of emergency. You can't let another per- another group of people can't take over your land and your. That's that's what we call war. And you mean to tell me the police can't do anything about it? Please. Exactly. Exactly. Look at this clip. Look at this clip. And then after this, I, I want to show y'all something because it's been it's kind of hard to know for sure if they're going to do it. But let's let's look at this. So it can't be verified yet because that could be a, a bike meet. Other bikers, we don't know. It could be bike weekend. True. <laughs> wow. It hasn't been verified yet, right? Like I keep saying, it hasn't been verified. So it's not uh, people aren't a hundred percent sure yet. Um, and it's but it's going across multiple platforms that um, this is going to happen. Well, we don't have facts on this, and we don't know. Um, but the closest thing I have been able to find to something that has a little bit more solidness was what this man is saying, and I want y'all to zoom in. And just tap into what he's saying real quick. Check this out, America. My wife said, hey, babe, I've been seeing some videos on TikTok today about the Hell's Angel possibly heading to Colorado. Why don't you do your thing and see if it's real or not? I'm like, yeah, okay, whatever. So I did some digging. I went beyond TikTok now. Check this out. This is a local news station out of aurora colorado okay this is an actual story today posted by that news station at six o'clock hell's angels aurora colorado venezuelans hell's angels en route to aurora colorado to address threat so still not saying if this is true or not all i'm saying is it is not just TikTok. okay this is <laughs> this is an actual local news network that made a six o'clock story about this. Mm. So my advice to anybody in that area that shouldn't be, <clears throat> good luck. So that's this about the shame. closest factual. Yes. That's the closest level of fa- of of concrete information for me i feel like it's, it's a shame that it had to get if they are you know in route yeah but let's just say they may not be but it's a still a shame that citizens are still having to think for themselves about how to protect themselves a situation when they try to hijack the school bus so next they're gonna be pulling up in the school 
They gonna I be saw, they gonna be it's, it's gonna be locked down in the school because right. it's it's a it's a takeover. I mean, what needs to happen before it becomes a critical situation? If Trump was in office right now, do would this be going Please. down? Would you know, this be going? He down? He would have sent so many forces to go deal with this particular problem. But we wouldn't even be having the problem. And why isn't because the borders wouldn't even be open? Why isn't? Oh my God! This problem should exceed state laws and regulations on what they can't do for um being a migrant city there should be an overruling from the government to say hey yes. go here and deal with this situation Threat. my problem is with the whole situation if if the hell's angels are actually going to deal with the situation kudos but the issue that I'm saying is if they go deal with the situation, one, I saw clips on them on a motorcycle, but those immigrants had big guns. Are you telling me everybody in Hell's Angels that's riding, just riding with a pistol in their pocket? Everybody's going to pull up with a pistol and put on there? These dudes had ARs. Two, if you run them out of the apartment, where are they going to go? Y'all going to y'all going to say y'all going to round them all up with with a rope? And say, hey, we're taking y'all back to the border. They're going to go to the next situation and create a new situation. These people now have weapons. They have money. They have food for food stamps. They have money for clothes. And they all been buying cars. They've been taking their money and they've been going by affordable cars. They have cars, weapons, food. And now they have housing. If you run them out of one situation, why would they not go to the next situation? What are you going to do? So people around them like, yes, thank God the Hells Angels going out there. And then what? All I can say and is. And then what? The more, I, the more and more I think about this, the more infuriated I get. I mean, because I don't have anything else to say. I've been dropping videos on my channel about it, you know, for a while. And we've been talking about it. So, I mean, it, it needs to be a state of emergency. It needs to be a state of emergency. And now. It needs to be on alert, especially in the sanctuary cities. You know, it needs to be where there's some type of government security. How their soldiers ride around on tanks in Mexico. What? On oh. top, deep, we thick. Are right. just going to the dentist office. La, 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 la. Right and, you'll, see and you'll see a big old, uh, you see a soldiers with their guns riding the, uh, down the street. Do, 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 do. Okay. So that's what we about to get to. And that's that's one thing. I ain't going to lie to you. I love my Mexican people. I do. I do. Because my Mexican folks be chill. I'm not there. You know, you have some people that, that might have, not have the best heart in this world, just like in any culture. But most of the time, Mexican folks are looking to make the money. Although everybody should come in the border the right way, them the ones that I'm not really focusing on, the ones that's no. doing all this crazy stuff, it's these other people that come from these other countries that go yeah, in and I didn't bring that up for that point at all. I'm talking about the mere fact of being this over there and feelings, feeling, you know, feelings. feeling secure is because you you don't have to worry about that, and they don't even have the potential. They don't even have the threats that we have over here, and and their government um, soldiers are riding around deep. On their um, what you call it? On on the military trucks. Yes, and they be on the military trucks. When you pull up, you be just at the red light, and you might just have a military truck pull up with five folks on the back of them up, and one is holding one the machine gun yep. in the front. With hell, everybody got helmets on because they deal with their a lot they of that. A lot of guns. you know what a lot of is for? It's for correcting reform. So like. If there were any kind, if there was any kind of cartel, if there wasn't kind of drug issue, they're well, bust down. They're gonna bust down like the, over the police. We were at the beach across the street from the dentist office <laughs> for a little while because I had to wait <laughs> for That's stuff to settle, and then so we over there for a while, and we just sitting on a couple of people just sitting out, and then you see a soldier walking up with his machine gun, he just, just like well, patrolling. He, I think he had a shotgun. He was just swinging that mud like it was a baseball bat too, just in case somebody because run up and get the dealt police with. Well, actually, the police station was right there. Yeah, it was close. But he was just outside like la 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 la, and I'm like, wow, well I feel safe. So, <laughs> I so, feel safe. So my question is, so that's how it happens in Mexico. The thing, do, the thing about Venezuela, they have what I keep hearing. I need to hear the to watch do the statistics, but I hear that their crime is lower because then some of their most dangerous people have been let over here. Of so what my thing is, 
this problem won't get corrected by the hell's angels this is a problem that i don't know if we're ever going to be able to truly solve because these people are here and how you going you going trump even with trump in office he can't he can't run all these people out that's what y'all will, people will like and hope but that's not possible it's it was millions of people are coming in and so they just spread into different areas in the, in the state and in the country and well, some of your worst people may be getting together and doing more damage. And so we still haven't seen the repercussions of of on a higher level of what this looks like. This is a warning for us, this whole migrant thing and um, in these apartments and stuff. But I want to say this is a bigger, way bigger picture than this that you need to be aware of on how to protect your family, because this is this will get way more out of hand. OK, but Trump. When he does get in office, I don't know how they do their stings or however he has to get the military involved, but I just feel confident that it's going to be a lot of folks that's going to be going back. I don't know how he did it the first time, but I just have to trust and believe it's going to be way more than what's going on right now. I don't think right this now. is a problem that he, he, he can no, get people to go back, but he ain't going to be able to get all these people back. They're not doing anything right now Nobody about can fix the this, situation. Nobody this problem to a high nothing level. Nothing is happening. They're doing nothing. They're doing absolutely zero. No one can fix zero. this problem. I'm not saying that he can. the problem will be alleviated, but there will be able to be some people, quite a few of the people, deported i don't believe that i believe it's going to be a great number of them how they do it i don't know how now is it going to be everybody well of course not but it will be a great number whatever the, because he knows that's the number one priority for us besides the economy i think they neck and neck a and a those are the two main things but even more so people are, are even more so worried about these in the immigrant crisis because if you don't even feel that safe, bus thing is crazy if though. you don't even feel safe in your home your city your town bump do economy. I mean, you you gonna be scared to go to work. That's what you gonna this be lady, scared to go shopping. A lady said this on TikTok. She said her and her children are, are scared. To, they live in Aurora, and they said they're the scared park. to go to the park. They will not go to the park in fear because if y'all look at Aurora, if you look at some of those spots in Aurora, I'm sure it's not everywhere, but you look at some of those spots, and some of those spots are run down. It it gives me the feel of of it gives me the feel of um of um 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 um. What's that? What's that poverty area in L.A. Um, that we that sh- that area where they completely take over that area with homeless um, um, skid row skid row. And it looks like certain parts of that in certain areas because they line up, they tear up the roads and tore up parking lots. It's ridiculous because you have brought a mindset from this place of destruction and 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 filth and brought it over here because you hadn't had to go through the proper channels to become a U.S. citizen to what. And know what we care about in this country and what we don't. And you just immediately came with no buffer from here to here. I don't know. I don't. I, as much as I know that Trump is going to go in and do his thing, this is a problem that would take a long time, and we have to suffer a lot of consequences of this problem before we get alleviated. What's to this? Well, we're already suffering the consequences, but I know we ain't seen it on the higher and even higher are, level. I mean, I know that we are on the up on. In, in this place right now but I still have to be think from an optimistic perspective because you're the pessimist so I have to continue to be the optimist I'm I just I'm not gonna sit here and believe that once Trump is in office it's gonna continue to stay the same I just don't believe that now is it in dream world to believe it's gonna go back to the way it was I can't necessarily say I think that either but for people to feel safe I know it's going to be a game switch up how he's going to do it, what he's going to do, because he knows that's one of the biggest issues that we have. That's why he didn't allow it. That's why he had a deport deporting crew. So if that's something how he knew how devastating it was for our country to how it was going to impact our country, just like he said, you don't think that's going to be top priority. If people don't feel safe in their homes, they're not going to want to go to work. They got, they got kids and they're going to stop sending their kids to school because now if they're going to take over a school bus and you already have already seen that. Then what makes them think, what makes you think, it's all, it's wide open. If they're willing to hurt kids or willing to even just, maybe not even hurt the kids, but put them at risk, it's a huge problem. That means, is, this, is it the school next? Is it the church next? They already busted in folks' houses. I mean, did you see that? They were just kicking the door in like they had, they could care less who was behind the door. And imagine being the person behind the door, knowing somebody's about, is trying to come in your place and you ain't got nothing to defend yourself with. You don't have nothing to defend yourself with. And they want to take away your guns. They want to fight for it. So, so your Second Amendment right is removed. Child, please. 
well. All I'm saying is wake up, people. It's no one group can handle this because there's so many people came in. If it was just a, a hundred thousand people that shot in here, well, you have you had millions and millions. Well, you better go and 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 take you some trips to the weapon store so you can so you can and and go and get you some shooting practice so you can protect your family. It's absolutely it makes no sense. What what, what are these people supposed to do? Hi, right, y'all. This is crazy. Twenty twenty four. Be more. Talk. Less and definitely talk less. Now, arm yourself and protect yourself in Jesus' name. All right, we'll see y'all. Yeah.